The idea behind a set is that it contains elements that have some property that lets them be included in that set. You are already familiar with some sets like vowels and consonants, and if you look at this set of blocks right here, you see that we have letters and numbers, those are different sets, and we also have some mathematical operators. Currently we are going to just consider these 38 blocks right here, but this came from a package of blocks that contains 50 blocks, see? So this gives us the idea of a sample space. If I were dealing with all 50 of the blocks that came together when this package was purchased, then my sample space would be a size of 50. But now we're only looking at these 38 blocks, so we have a sample space of these 38 blocks. Anything I'm going to talk about has to come from these 38 blocks. So we've already moved the mathematical operators aside. Now let's move the numbers. So here we have a set of numbers. Here we have mathematical operators, and here we have letters. However, within letters, we have a set of vowels and consonants. So let's put the vowels aside. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y? Wait a second. When we're defining sets, we have to say, does Y belong to the set, yes or no? In set world, it can't be a sometimes thing. So we can say Y is a vowel. So now we have the consonants all up here, right? Good. Well, what about Y? Y is sometimes a consonant. So Y sort of belongs to both sets, vowels and consonants. Now you could define your sets so that vowels don't include Y, or that consonants don't include Y. You just have to be careful how you define your sets, and make sure that you use a consistent definition. Now you'll notice that we had letters. Those letters can be separated into consonants and vowels, and with Y kind of hanging out doing double duty. When you have one smaller set that's contained in a bigger set, the little one is called a subset. So vowels are a subset of letters. Another way we could say that is letters is a superset of vowels. Now, let's talk about complements to sets. Whatever is not in a set is that set's complement. So if we're talking about the set of letters, all of the things above my hand, then the complement to the set of letters is everything below my hand, so these numbers and operators. Or if we want to talk about vowels, so this is, is vowels, the complement to our set of vowels is everything that's not vowels. So this and this belong to our set that is the complement to vowels. If you want the complement to consonants, gotta be careful because Y is a consonant, so it can't be in the complement because the complement has everything that's not in the set. So now everything below my hand is in the complement to consonants, everything above my hand is a consonant.